Carla, um, Minister Antonishta, today is World Mental Health Day. And Minister, you referenced your phone number. That phone number is not a replacement uh, and shouldn't ever be advertised. I'm not suggesting that you did by anyone as a replacement for the face-to-face -face care that people need. My fear is that that phone number will refer people into waiting lists. That phone number will not. It, it's supposed to tell people about the supports and the services available. But what we have been hearing in this chamber and all through the budget debate is that the services are not available. So what are the people on the phone line going to be telling the people in mental, with mental ill health who are distressed, who have nowhere else to go? And you heard my, my colleague, Deputy Buckley, he speaks with passion about this subject because he knows oh it at first hand. Where are these people when they ring the helpline? Where are they going to be directed to? Are they going to be directed to a waiting list? Because believe me, they're already desperate. Okay. They Minister don't need to Daly, be directed to a waiting Minister list. Daly, we'll have a brief uh, thank you very much. I'm on the record repeatedly as saying that I don't know how anybody in a mental uh, distress state can actually know where to turn to, whether it's alone or whether it's aware, whether it's Jigsaw, whether it's Peter House, who does what, whether it's CAMS, how do people know where to go? So that's why I established there are 1,027 different services funded by the HSE, and all of them are trying to promote themselves individually and send out flyers and brochures individually letting people know of their service. What has been established out in the National Ambulance Service and gone live today and if I can repeat the number again 1800 742 444 and I would appreciate if deputies would promote that number. It does give people a direction and it does give people in need you know, an opportunity to, um, to be advised on where to go. Uh, when they need that help. It is important that uh, that piece of infrastructure is there to give guidance to people where to reach out when they are reaching out. It's not the panacea, but it is a very essential tool. Uh,